Welcome to Mendeley video course. You're watching video number 12, Managing a Mendeley Library, an overview. In this video, we will provide an overview of how to organize and manage the Mendeley Library. Mendeley's desktop interface should be fairly intuitive if you are familiar with other programs like Gmail. The left-hand panel offers a number of different options. Now, let's examine one by one. First, all documents. This is the default position that you will be in whenever you open the Mendeley desktop. And this lists all the references or all the items in your library. This is like a master list of all references. Any other folders are subsets of all documents. One thing you can do here is if you go to the middle panel, you can sort or order the references by several column headings like authors, title, year, and so on. This is very useful for finding or locating the references by a specific author or by a particular title, for example. The next folder we have is recently added. Recently added lists all the references which have been added in the last two weeks. Similarly, recently read folder contains all those which you have read in the recent uh, past. Whenever you add materials to your library, they will be marked initially as unread. And this is indicated by a large green dot as shown here. You can toggle this on and off by clicking it. Alternatively, a document will be marked as red, which is indicated by a small gray dot once you have spent a certain amount of time reading it in the Mendeley library. The next folder is Favorites. Favorites contain all those documents which have been marked as favorites or starred as favorites. They can then be easily retrieved in this particular folder. The next folder is Needs Review. This folder lists all those references that Mendeley thinks are incomplete or incorrect and has flagged them for your review. Once you review them and correct them, those references will disappear from this folder. This shows how you can star or unstar a document. All you have to do is go to this document and click on that star and that particular document will be marked as favorite and will appear in the favorites folder. As mentioned earlier, this is a toggle key. You can mark a document as favorite or not at any point in time. Similarly, you can also mark, you, mark a document as read or unread. Folders. This is one of the most useful features in Mendeley. Folders allow you to quickly organize your references under different topic headings. For example, I usually create a folder for each research project or research paper I'm working on. To create a folder, all you have to do is go and click on that option called create folder and then give it a name. Once you do that, you can drag and drop the references from the middle panel of Mendeley to these folders. You can also create subfolders within existing folders if you want to organize further. One point to note here is whenever you drag a document from all documents into a particular folder, what you are essentially doing is making a copy of that in that particular folder. So even if you delete a folder or a document from a folder, a copy of that will always remain in all documents. If you really want to delete a reference from your library, you have to go to all documents and then delete from there. We will have a look at that in, in a subsequent video. Note there is a temporary folder called unsorted. This lists all the references that have not yet been assigned a folder. Once you organize your references in a folder, this temporary folder called unsorted disappears. 
Mendeley offers a very powerful search tool to help you locate items in your library. This is a key function, especially as your library becomes larger with thousands of references, it can be very hard to search for them. All you have to do is look for the search bar on right top corner and enter your search term in that field. Once you do that, Mendeley will filter your current view to show references which contain that term. It will also search not only the meta metadata, but also the full papers, full text of the PDF papers which appear in your library. So that's a very, very powerful option. Please note that the search is always context specific. So if you're not getting the results you expect, make sure that you are looking at it in the appropriate folder. And whenever in doubt, please select all documents. You have to clear, click on that clear button which appears on the yellow toolbar to remove the search filter. There are several other useful options within search and we will go through them in subsequent videos. Tags. This is another very useful feature in Mandalay. What are tags? Tags are nothing but words that are attached to references, which can then be used to identify those references in your Mendeley library. These are specifically assigned by you as a user. Adding tags to references is similar to organizing the references in folders. From the perspective of Mendeley, there's no difference. But the advantage with tags is that you can assign multiple, any number of tags to the same reference and then filter or search by tags. This is more efficient than creating multiple folders and this can be very useful for analysis of Mendeley library. For example, if you want to generate some metrics from your Mendeley library, this can be very useful and we'll examine this with an example in a separate video. What you may find that after collecting a large number of references in your library, that there may be some duplicate entries where two copies of the same reference have been added to your library. No problem. Mendeley can clean up these for you. All you have to do is go to tools, click on the option check for duplicates. Then Mendeley will identify any duplicate entries in your database and offer to merge these into a single combined entry. You'll be prompted to check over all the details of the merged version before the merge is completed. At this stage, you can either confirm merge or say that reference is not a duplicate. It allows also to take the details of each of the entries you're merging. So we will again look at this in a separate video on a live demonstration. Mendeley has a wonderful PDF reader, which is very useful to read documents from within Mendeley. You may also highlight the text, use different colors, add comments and annotations. You'll notice that Mendeley operates on a tabbed format. This means you can open multiple PDF documents for reading at once and switch back and forth between them. Another interesting feature with Mendeley PDF reader is. It will remember where you were up to in a paper when you open it and take you back the, to the same place when you reopen again. One important thing to remember is that the free version of Mendeley provides you a space of 2 GB only on the web account. So it's important to use this space rationally. Otherwise, we run the risk of exceeding the free limit sooner or later. One easy tip is to ensure that the attached PDF documents are not synchronized. This way, you will have access to PDF documents in the Mendeley desktop, but do not necessarily eat up the limited web space. To do this, all you have to do is click on Edit Settings and unmark the option Synchronize Attached Files. Please notice that there are options to perform this function for your entire library or for selected folders. Also take note of the web space usage 
which will help you to monitor how much you have used and how much is remaining. To summarize, in this presentation, we went through the various options of managing the Mendeley library, creating folders, searching the library, creating tags, checking for duplicates, using the PDF reader, sorting documents, and so on. In the next video, we will show you in detail with a live demonstration as to how to create folders and subfolders, etc. Thanks for watching.